All right, I am looking at weekly Squirtle number 18. Now the way Squirtle works is it's a grid of words and there's lots of different colored clues. So check out the website if you're not familiar with those. And this eight here is how many guesses we have remaining. And yeah, that's about all you need to know. Um, works kind of like Wordle, but we're doing more than one at a time and it gets a little complicated, but um, now somebody had suggested that I should start uh, a weekly Squirtle by solving a plus word first, which is kind of like a mini crossword, and then using the answers from that as my starting words for the Squirtle. And so I did that today. I already solved the plus word. So I'm about to put the answers to the plus word on the screen right over there. So if you don't want to be spoiled on today's plus word, Hopefully I have delayed long enough by talking about it for you to pause the video and go solve it before you look at this because I'm now going to put the answers from the plus word on the screen. So there we go. So we've got piano, olden, meows, puree, and smelt. So that's gonna be our starting words. So, piano. Ooh, we got a green already, good, good. Ooh, there's no I or O in the grid. Wow, now that is interesting, okay. Olden. Yeah, we already knew there's no O. There's no D either. Uh, meows. Of course, no O, no W. Not not too surprising with that. And w is kind of a middle of the road letter. Uh, puree. Ooh, I was hoping maybe we'd get some double arrows since we guessed something with two E's there. And smelt. Ooh, a bunch of reds. Okay, interesting. So, now we've got to figure out what to do with this mess. Okay, we got three greens. That's good. We've got, uh, all right, I'm going to hide some of the blacks. Okay, now let's see, we've got, um, now, E, I wanna look at E here, cause we've got two, a red and an orange over here. So there's an E in this last column, and there's a white E down here at the bottom. So this one can't be the E, so it has to be first or second. Now we don't know, it could be either one. We do have, ah, interesting. So there's the orange and the yellow here too, which means there's an E first or last in this word. So E there might be good, that could be good there. Uh, I mean, it could be N-E too, but... Um, we've also got an E in this middle column, but again, it could... Oh, it can't be third. It can't be third, so it's fourth or first, and an E in this fourth row, which is first or third, so that's a good spot for an E right there, potentially. We've got a lot of E's pointing at that, okay. Um, there's an S in the first row and the first column, so it might be good to guess something with an S right there, just because. Uh, there is an A in this column, not in the first row. Um, there's an M in the second column, probably not ML. And it's not third, because there's a white M there, so I'm thinking an M probably right there. Um, Unless it's ML, but I don't, I don't like ML as a start. So an M there is interesting, because that makes me think, hmm, what does that make me think? It actually makes me think there could be an S right there, but not necessarily. It's either that, I feel like it's either an S or probably a vowel. Now, let's see, We've we, there's no O, I, or U. So, Three of our vowels are not in the grid. Now that is interesting. So we haven't guessed Y yet. Uh, we, we do have an A. Um, we haven't done much with the A. We've got an orange one there and a white one up there. I think that's it. Now I'm 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 kind of liking, as usual, a Y down here. Now we're not we're not to that point yet, but I'm just gonna kind of think of Y there. L Y is really good. I like that. Uh, do we know much about this T here? We've got an orange T. Is that the only place we guessed a T? I think it is. Okay. Yeah, we only guessed the one T and we only guessed the one A, which was in two spots, but we only guessed it once. Uh, okay. R. R here. There's an R. I mean, potentially right there. I mean, we have the orange and the yellow, so it's hard to say. But, um, it might be good to guess an R over he here, possibly. Well... Or would it be? I don't know. Because there's no R. I mean, we know th this is an N, obviously. But guessing an R there isn't going to do us much good because there's no R in that column. But there could still be an R in this first row. We don't know. So an R right there. Uh, you can't. Well, but no, that's not good. Because we think this is an M. That's not a good spot for an R. Never mind. Uh, and this can't be an R. So now I'm thinking R here, which does work with the Y, actually. If, if this is M and E, then the R is probably over here. 
Well, if this is M and E, then the R is almost certainly right there. But now we need an E, we got an E there, okay. All right, Um. so we can guess a lot of things here. I definitely, hmm, you know what might be good actually is something, hmm. I was gonna say something that ends in a Y because it would help us know if there's potentially a Y down here. I mean, these are not as likely to start with a Y as they are to end in a Y, but it certainly could be. So, and it'd be good just to use some different letters we haven't used yet. Maybe a C would be good. Because CL isn't too bad. That's a possibility for both of these directions, in fact. Uh, and then... Because this could be something like... Oh, it can't be... Cl oh, yeah, there's no I. Only A's and E's. I gotta remember it's only A's and E's. Oh, interesting. So, what's this gonna be? Oh, okay, this could be an R. That would be a good spot to guess an R. Yes, because we know there's an R in the row. There's also an R in this column here. So this would be a good place to guess an R. And then maybe an A. And then, because we know there's an A in the Column. There's not an A in the row, but we already know what that letter is anyways, so this, is, this isn't bad. An A right there. It would let us check if there's an A in the column. The fourth column there. But I don't think gray is a word, so I'm gonna abandon my plan of the Y. Um, maybe scrag, just because we haven't guessed a G yet. I'm pretty sure that's a word. Let's try that. Why not? Okay, the SC was good. The SC was good. Uh, this can't be climb, though. I want to make this climb. What could this be? Assuming this is an M, we're going to assume... Well, before we do that, let's look at what else we got. Okay, so there is an A in this column. Good. We've ruled out another spot for the R here. Uh, we ruled out another spot for the A here. Right, so the A has to be second or fifth. This could be an A. This could be... Oh, I can't... I was going to say alone. We don't have, it's gotta be A's and E's. Uh, a, a, hmm. hmm. Oh, what's gonna come after the E, or after the L, sorry, after the L? It's not an E and it's not an A. Oh man, okay, that's interesting. Because it has to come after the L and potentially before an R, if that's an R. Hmm. And there's no E in this word down here either. It's interesting. Not having the U, I, and O makes it really tricky. Okay, well this, this is almost for sure an E up here. This has got to be like sent. Because there's no A, and, and it has to have a vowel between the C and that. So that's going to be sent. Okay, so we have E. Now, it doesn't mean this isn't an E. We can have more than one E here. But... Now, we can't have two E's in this fourth column or the fourth row. We do know that much because uh, we guessed puree. Uh, this can't... What can this be? If this is A-L... I mean, that can't be a vowel, unless it's a Y. This can't be an A or an E, or a U, I, or O. So unless it's a Y, so maybe this isn't an A, which would put an A down here. Okay, what's this gonna be? C, L, it's gotta be a vowel, right? C, L, it's gotta be a vowel, so it has to be an A. Clam, what, clam, clamp, clamp. What do we know about P? We've guessed P. We just have the white P's here, clamp. Okay, and then aptly, aptly and egret. We do have a white G. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Algae, this could be an A and an A. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, algae and clamp, I really like those. Um. Which one am I gonna guess? I'm gonna guess algae, I think, because we already have the CL. 
We don't really need to guess the L at all. We definitely don't need to guess the C. I think I'm gonna do algae. I think so. I think I like that. Let's go with algae. Algae, okay. Okay, it's all coming together now. This is the part where it comes together. Okay, so this can be, uh, this could be natal. Natal, we do need an A in this row here. This would be smear maybe and salsa? Could that be an L? Yeah, salsa. Smear lard? Lard? Uh, ooh. What's that gonna be? Oh, nope, nope. Nope, navel and larva. There we go. I think that's what I, I that's what I'm going with, I think. Smear. Okay, so, um let's just go with larva then. Let's continue with the rows. Larva. And then we can do smear. And we should get a row and a column here. Yep. Awesome. So two more bonus guesses. These are all going to be right. All right, and then aptly and then we just need to do scent. And that'll do it, just like that. We go from not a clue to it just all falling together. That's how these usually go. You go from, I have no idea and I'm almost out of guesses to, oh, this could be this word. Oh, and that means this and this and that. Oh, and then it's, there you go, that's the whole thing. So that's what's kind of fun about these is just that sudden kind of cascade of, oh, it all comes together. It's really neat when that happens. So anyways, the words this week were scent Algae, larva, smear, aptly, salsa, clamp, egret, navel, and teary. So very interesting. Uh, no, no unusual words, really. I don't think uh, the V. I mean, is the most unusual part in there, probably. But pretty interesting. So let me know how you did with today's weekly squirtle and the plus word if you did that too. And be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Oh, it could be... we could still have an S there. This could be artsy. <laughs> We're putting a lot of R's in the grid. So, there, and there, and there we go. <laughs> Alright, that was an easy one. Decided? Maybe. <laughs> so, so doing eight words blindfolded isn't hard enough. We could do spool, or after, or spoof and alter, either way. Oh, we could do whiz? There we go, okay. 